Hello gamers, I am Tigwick, and we are going to take another look at StreamJar today. This time we're going to go over the tip page and how to customize it, and uh, what it looks like on the front end for somebody that wants to tip you on your stream via StreamJar. So, the first thing you need to do, of course, is to log into StreamJar and manage your StreamJar account here. So you click the Manage button up here. Uh, you will land on something like, I guess, your overview. And you'll have to immediately configure your PayPal settings in order to actually receive tips. So, the first thing you need to do is click on Settings and go to Payment, and you'll land on this page. So this is the payment configuration and uh, you know, you can figure out your tip currency you want to receive in, any external integration such as GameWisp or, uh, I'm not sure what this one is here, oh, Tiltify, of course, for the uh, charity and stuff. Um, the agreement, uh, if I click the, there we go, the agreement down here, the sort of uh, template agreement that people are, are agreeing to when they send a tip your way, the PayPal address you want to receive at, simply here, and you can send a test tip uh, to make sure everything works on this, uh, this page here. Once you've set everything up, head on over to your customize, and you'll land on uh, this page right here. And initially it looks like just a set of rows and you're like, okay, I don't understand why, like, what am I doing? What does this mean, right? So these are, if you think of this as sort of like a building block tool, this is how it will look to the other user on the, on the side when they're tipping you. It will be a collection of these widgets and these widgets all look a certain way on this page. This is the public facing tip page uh, for me. And I've customized it such that I've added my, um, as you can see here, I've added my social networks. I've filled out my various social networks, and uh, those appear up here. Very clickable links for people. I've moved the goal widget to the top so people can see my, my first, my goal here, just so that it's visible. As an example, this is my example goal here. My name, if I was donating to me, I would fill that in here, the message, blah, blah, blah. But these are all, the stock ones are the input username, the message, and the, uh, the amount that the person wants to tip. The goal and the social networks, uh, so our social networks are also stock. The goal is a widget that I added from the top bar here. So the top bar allows you to add a little bit more fun to your, your tip page. You can accept music requests. You can add arbitrary text if you added if you want to add a, um, a thank you message in the middle of the um, of the page to your your tippers. You can put that in there. You can add another input box if you want to collect some other further input from your tippers. Uh, you can add Minecraft integration if you have a Minecraft server and you have uh, you know a whitelist of some sort uh, set up. You can integrate this, and uh, there is a I believe there's a documentation on the site to to link it up such that you can um, you could whitelist your your subscribers and your tippers and give them some sort of um, bonus on your your Minecraft server. The goal is what I simply stated. It is uh, it's the widget for your currently active goal, which is also configured under your uh, your settings goals over here. And the audio recording allows you to accept an audio recording from your tippers, your, your supporters. Um, so the audio recording is simply a short, like a, I think it's like a cost per second thing. Yeah, so you can make it like um, every so many dollars tipped, they can leave an extra second of audio. And then it's played out via the um, stream chart integration on, the, uh, on your stream if you have that on the overlay. And finally, a simple divider that you can put between the, uh, the various uh, things here to separate them out. And then when we go to the public facing tip page again, you'll see there's probably now a, a bar. Yeah, there's this bar, this divider that we've added between. And that's simply what this is here. So that's, it's really not that hard to customize the basic tip page. If you want to add more to it, you pick the theme over here. You can enable these uh, left panes and right panes to show stats or, or fun things for people to look at when they're on there. So if you enable the, maybe the top tips, and we'll save that quickly. And if we now browse to here on, I believe, the left, is that the one I enabled? There will be a, uh, yeah, there you go. So there's the top tips of, of, of people who have tipped in the past. I'm going to turn that off because it's useless for me. So <laughs> uh, you can have a, a live badge at the top. So basically, when it's live, when you turn on the live badge, the text up here reveals whether you are currently streaming or not on um, the services you have linked to StreamJar. If you have services like uh, Hitbox or uh, Twitch or Beam linked to StreamJar, and you are currently live, and you have that badge set to enabled, uh, if we save that, I can show you because I will show as offline. There you go. Currently not live. So that is what I mean. Uh, if you enable that badge, you can tell your uh, your your supporters immediately if you are currently streaming or not. 
below the live badge and the subscription whitelist you have the fees so whether you pay the fees or if users can uh, um, can opt to pay your fee or if you want to force the user to pay the fee in the tip that they're paying you um, or actually so that it would then request extra money from them so if they wanted to pay and this is why it's highly unrecommended or not recommended is that if you want the if, if somebody wants to support you with five dollars they have to pay like five you know five thirty or five twenty or something like that um, below that is the minimum donation and simply what is the lowest dollar amount you want to be able to accept on your donation page and again once you save all those settings you can just keep refreshing your demo page your public this is not even your demo this is actually your live public facing tip page so as long as this is correct this is exactly what other people will see then it's recommended that you simply copy and paste this link into a picture or onto the description of your your stream and say this is where you can support me as a streamer and when you get your tips, they are visible under the, uh, the tips section over here, and there'll be a whole big database list of them. I don't have any in here, so as you, can, you can't see them. But that's literally how easy it is to set up the tips and receive tips via StreamJar and, and, and make your public-facing tip page and even add a thank you note if you want to in there. We went over all those various things. If you enjoy the content, please do uh, hit the like button below or subscribe and leave a comment. I'd love to talk to you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.